Breaking news on Seahawks today. Your Seattle Seahawks have made two waiver wire claims, adding cornerback Caillou Blue Kelly from the Baltimore Ravens, as well as linebacker Drake Thomas from the Las Vegas Raiders off of the NFL waiver wire. Both players, rookies, and both players immediately are activated to the 53-man roster to your Seattle Seahawks. Big-time moves, big wins for Seattle. And corresponding with that, we found out from ESPN's Adam Schefter that Artie Burns has been released. Still at the point of this recording, waiting on clarity of what the other corresponding move will be, but Artie Burns expected to be on the practice squad. So, what do you want to know about Caillou Blue Kelly? Let's tell you about it. Let's start off with this. A 2023 fifth-round pick this year by the Ravens out of Stanford, and he was a spectacular football player with the Stanford Cardinal, a four-year starter at Stanford, two-time second-team All-Pac-12 selection in 2021 and in 2022, and Mel Kuyper Jr. rated him as the 17th best corner in this past April's draft in the 123rd player overall uh, at uh, the position uh, overall in the entire draft. Meanwhile, Drake Thomas, this is a guy that uh, was an undrafted free agent originally out of NC State that was claimed by the Raiders. And you talk about under the radar, I don't know how this guy didn't get drafted. As a first-team All-ACC selection, according to the Associated Press last year, he was a standout player. And what he did in the preseason was really spectacular with Las Vegas as he led that team in tackles. In reading what the Las Vegas Raiders media had to say, they were surprised that he ultimately got cut and didn't make the Raiders roster. It was believed that he was going to make that roster and be a rotational player for that team. So with that said, with these two signings, the way I look at it for your Seattle Seahawks, they made out like bandits with these moves here, folks. These were two guys that were not supposed to be available on the waiver wire. We were shocked that both of them were there. And in the Seahawks case, Pete Carroll and John Schneider looked at it and said, we can't miss on the opportunity to go get basically a free fifth-round pick in Kyle Blue Kelly and a player in Thomas who was supposed to be on somebody else's roster but ultimately just they, they moved on from. To me, this is... This is great moves for the Seahawks. And we'll go over the scouting report and explain what exactly both player brings to the, brings to the table in just a second. But first, what's your one-word reaction to the Seahawks waiver claims? My one word is steal. They stole these guys. They weren't supposed to be here, and now here they are. Big-time win for John Schneider and Pete Carroll. Made out. I thought they did an incredible job. What's your one-word reaction? Give it to me in the comment section. Folks, we are trying to get to 40,000 subscribers before football season, making significant progress, but we need your help. This is why you subscribe to the channel. When the Seahawks have a move, whether it be in free agency or trades, injury notes, whatever it may be, we make a video as fast as we can here on the channel. Subscribe now. Help us get to 40,000 subscribers before football season, less than 300 away from getting there. Join the family. That way you stay up to date on your Seattle Seahawks. No one covers this team like we do here on Seahawks today. Subscribe now for free. You'll be glad you did. The statistics from Caillou Blue Kelly. This is what he did last season with the Stanford Cardinal. 35 tackles, did not have an interception, had six pass breakups, also had a fumble recovery. This is not going to be the ball hawk type corner necessarily. But he is going to be that no-fly zone type, which would correspond well with what the Seahawks need. Comparably speaking, when you look at the other corners that they have in that cornerback room, they have guys that can create turnovers as is. This is a good fit for what Seattle is looking for. His scouting report, according to Lance Erline of NFL Media, goes as follows. Defender with good size, length, and NFL bloodlines, but a concerning lack of recovery speed in coverage stickness against quality route runners. When in position, Kelly possesses the bowl skills and competitiveness to contest catches. He's patient and efficient from press, but he could struggle to stay in phase with vertical route threats in man-to-man -man coverage. 
Kelly might be best suited for a backup role in a zone scheme, but the aggression will need to be cranked up in run support. It's no secret, Blue Kelly, he, he struggled in the preseason with Baltimore. Didn't go well for him, but he's a rookie. I mean, you should expect that. I was surprised that Baltimore moved on from him the way they did. Essentially a free pick, free fifth-round pick for the Seahawks here. I'll take him any day over Artie Burns. And with Artie Burns sticking around the practice squad, uh, you know, if, if there's an injury, you elevate Artie Burns, he knows the system just fine. But Blue Kelly, nice project to take on. And let's see what he can make of it, if he can take advantage of this opportunity. I know things started out slow, but this was a guy I like coming out of the draft as is, a good value find. So give him some time. Might be some growing pains, but I'm telling you folks, this will be well worth it as far as I'm concerned. Now to Drake Thomas. Let's tell you about Drake Thomas. Uh, last season in NC State, tackling machine, 107 tackles, 19 tackles for loss. And also managed to have nine and a half sacks in four pass breakups. Drake Thomas was really good. I know that sack number certainly is going to stand out, but he's more than just a sack machine. Lance Erline, as follows. Good football player with a nose for action and strong desire to make a play once he's in the vicinity. Thomas's football acumen and execution are not issues, but his size, speed, and length could be major hurdles to overcome. He's physical in block take-on and instinctive uh, in, to recognize play design, but playing around big blockers and chasing the action in space are likely to become larger issues for him as a pro. And here's what I mean. As I was reading more about Thomas and exactly what his scouting report is, besides just being the sack machine, as you can see, uh, in the statistics we showed you earlier, he is very good in run defense. And on this channel, for months on end, we have said the number one issue that the Seattle Seahawks needed to address in 2023 was run defense. They needed help in the run defense. And this is another guy that, to put it mildly, he can drive through tackle targets. Okay? He's not backing down on anybody. He is driving through those tackle targets, and he's finishing plays. He's playing to the whistle. This is what this guy brings to the table here. I like it. Not just a guy that's going to go after the quarterback, but going to be effective in run defense as well. Really good find for the Seattle Seahawks. Grade the Seahawks waiver wire claims. I got to go an A here. I don't know how it's not an A here. Big moves for your Seattle Seahawks. Grade it for me. Let me know in the comment section what your grades are for what these Seahawks managed to put together here on the waiver wire. A uh, couple notes for the practice squad. Aesop Winston, I know there were some folks out there that uh, did not want to see him make the 53-man roster. Good news, he is back on the practice squad. Uh, so he is kind of the de facto number six, number seven receiver of sorts. Uh, so good to see Aesop Winston back. Had a big preseason game against the Green Bay Packers. And then, of course, fan favorite, Levi Bell. According to uh, Michael Sean Duggar of The Athletic, hearing outside linebacker, defensive end, Levi Bell is coming back to the Seahawks on the practice squad as well. Bell led Seattle in QB pressures and QB hits in the preseason. Did a little bit of everything, playing on the edge, interior, and at fullback. So, what? <laughs> thank goodness, Levi Bell is back, folks. That's very good news for the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, a guy that we thought was going to make the 53-man roster but ultimately, the Seahawks moved on from he stays in Seattle. Also re-signing with the Seahawks is safety Ty Akota uh, to the practice squad at the uh, safety position source, tells Brady Henderson of ESPN. Akota, a UDFA from Montana State, was part of the Seahawks' er cuts yesterday in cleared waivers. So he is back. I'll say this. Uh, Bell and Winston in particular. Maybe it's not today but you're going to see them on the active roster at some point in time. And think about last year, okay? We saw guys like Fy Jones, Tanner Muse, uh, Kay Johnson that were on the practice squad when the season began, but eventually made their way on the 53-man roster and got playing time as well. So this is not a death sentence by any means to go to that practice squad right now. We'll see those guys. Also, Patrick O'Connell was added to the practice squad, I think, uh, there's a chance you could see him as well get some playing time, and he was impressive 
in uh, the preseason. So, folks, appreciate you joining us here on Seahawks Today. If you made it to the end of today's show, I want you to spam 12 in the comments section. It's a great day to be a Seattle Seahawk. Let's hear it. Make some noise for your Seattle Seahawks. Spam 12 in the comments section. As always, subscribe to the channel. We are talking about your Seahawks each and every day like no one else is. Stay tuned to the channel. More to come as we count you down to kickoff here on Seahawks today. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.